In this video, we're going to rejuvenate an 18 volt Ryobi battery. What I have is three working 14.4 volt batteries. Two are from my DeWalt drill and this Black & Decker I just came across, but it's good. Um, these are fully charged. What I need is these batteries, which are going to give me about 45 volts of current. I have two small wires so I can connect the terminals, positive to negative positive to negative and then I will come across with these so I have a total of four wires to connect these three batteries and I will end up tapping them on the 18 volt battery to rejuvenate it. Next you will test to make sure that you are getting the proper charge that my terminals are connected appropriately so I will set my voltmeter and I'm getting 45 volts Immediately after, I hook the negative to the negative, and I'll touch the positive to the positive terminal. Next, what you'll do is you'll take your negative and connect it to the negative terminal, and you'll take your positive, and what you'll do is you'll tap this for about five to seven seconds, and it'll be a quick tapping, and I'm going to do that right now. You should have safety glasses on while you do this. And on. And that should do it. Immediately after, I hook the negative to the negative, and I will touch the positive to the positive terminal, and I should get a reading of 19. This is an 18-volt battery, which means I have jump-started this one. Next step is I will charge this battery, so I'll plug it into the charger, and when I have a solid light, it will be holding a charge. Now I've charged the battery and it is reading at 20.9 with a full charge. So I have recharged this. This hasn't worked for, I don't think I've used it for four years. So this works better, <laughs> better than the cordless drill I've been using. So I'll see how long that this charge holds. Hopefully it holds just as long as... There's a newer battery wood.